Shok is 25, number one, or the beginning of the double thirds etudes. And I imagine this summer I will talk about double thirds and I'll show quite a few at, at, at the summer at Princeton and I will show quite a few examples of how it works. But one of the issues of double thirds is that when we play single notes, we know it's a single rotation, left, right, left, right, left, and then it goes quickly, synchronized. But it doesn't work that way when you have double notes, because if you go, the left is right, but the right is not right. You know, it's, we lose the balance on the third that plays to the right of the first third. So it has, so what we have in things like that, and it really is a learned behavior, I would say, you know, so much of what we have to do in technique, I would call a learned behavior, that it's what's in nature, but what's in nature is not always obvious. And very often we have to help nature. And when we put things like that, suddenly the difficulty, you know, it solves the whole issue. They're very, very good pianists and famous pianists whose name you would know. And I'm told that the one thing that they fear is double thirds. They don't know how to do it and they will not do a piece that has double thirds. If they only knew that this place to the left, the same as this place to the left, they play the same thing. It's double rotation. And, but that's not the whole story. When you go to here, also there has to be a feeling of settling down if you don't have it. That the arm, the whole issue is that the form has to feel that it's settled equally behind both fingers. Not more to the left, going to the left doesn't mean that you tilt it to the left. It means you're coming from, you're coming from this movement and settling straight down. It's down, down, down. Also it has, when you have a trill like that, you have a little in and a little out. By the way, the fingering that shows here is one, four, two, five. Some people do that, some people do do one, three, two, four. I do one, three, two, five. I would say that some of it has, has to do, I often do in situations like this, one, three, two, four, but not in a long tree like that. And with this combination of black and white keys, I'm comfortable with one, three, two, five. So this is something that you can try. There's a little bit of an in on the interval on the third with the thumb slightly out on the 2-5. Very small, that also, and as you see, the thumb comes a little bit down, the 2-5, the one that goes a little bit back, a little bit out, is a little bit higher, very small. Now those motions work in so small that in the end, I do not feel or think about them, but that's what's working with it, because most of the time, People do the opposite. They play out here, and because it has a black key, they play in here. So that doesn't work. So again, nature is not obvious. You know, the double rotation, not doing left, right, left, right, but left, left. And where you would want to play out, it's actually a little bit in. Where you would want to play in is actually a little bit out. And then it feels almost static. The actual play, but if you, but the feeling is there. If I didn't do it, it wouldn't be working. And then in measure three, there are different fingering that work out for different people. One, four, two, five, one, four, two, three is one possibility. I happen to like one, three, two, four, one, three, and I cross. And as you see, when you cross over the thumb, when you cross over that way, you cannot connect from the three to the four, but I'm connected on the thumb. And with a little shape, and miraculously it sounds completely connected. One last thing, the scale going up, we're going to the right, walking hand and arm, the arm is going to the right, right, right. The rotation goes left, 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 left. But if you notice, the rotation is very small. You, do, you will not see that. It's working very small, but notice that on each third, 
my forearm is shifting over. Another thing that is very important, where I can connect one, three, two, four, one, five, little forward and a two, three, one, four, but then I go to one, three. So when I use the same finger, I let go of that finger so I can get over to the one, three. I connect, I connect, I connect, I connect, I connect, I connect. One, one cannot connect, has to move over. One, one has to move over. So what is very, very helpful is also along with all of that to know where you are connected, where you have to let go. And very often if we can connect, even with one finger, the feeling would be that of connection. So now, if there are any questions, please let me know. And if there are no questions, I can go another few minutes. Uh, Edna, would you mind showing the opening of the F major completely minimized? This? Yeah, just put the screen down so we can see you again. Yes. Is that what you want? Yes, thank you. Just because we, we, we only saw it a little bit larger before, so it's nice to see it small as well. Very small, and you can cry, you know, I tell my students also when it gets smaller, and very often it is with the help of the teacher, that when, when it's very small, you can practice slower with a minimal... If I practice slower to, to work out something, I will not go back to rotation. We we'll do it very small, but a little bit slower, just to the solidity of everything. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yes. Yeah, okay. okay, request for Opus 25 number one, seeing you opened up the idea. <laughs> so what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the question? The question is just do a little bit. We'll take the rest of the time for 25 number one. Okay, okay. so the right hand, it's another... It's another uh, piece where you have to be comfortable in the black key area. And you see that they're little ins and out. Again, the rotation, the rotation is like breathing. Without the rotation, you can't, you can't breathe, you can't move. So that's a given. You know, and being aware where it's a single, and suddenly there's a double, and there's a double. The shapes, little under little over and suddenly I move the here I change the fingering to one two three five because if I stayed in the same with the same fingering I have a bigger distance and then but then I go back to the fourth finger now I know that a, a big question is also uh, let me just jump around and the, let me do the left hand also you know with that rotation we don't have successful leaps. So, you know, we move ourselves, it takes too long, and we get tired. The moment we get tired, it's a symptom that something, something is not quite right. And we know it in our work, the moment someone gets tired, we look what else is there. The rotation throws the arm right where it has to be. And there's a grouping here. So, again, I, you have to stay inside. And you do have here a situation of a distance of a fifth from the four to the five to the four. There's, you can't do anything about it. So, but what, when you have, again, when you work with all these movements, it goes all the way down here. Now it goes back. So we have to decide on a grouping because it doesn't work when we change direction. We have to decide, are we starting with the new direction and then start here, or do we finish here, let it fall back and start back, and this is the group. And that what, how do we decide the one that feels easiest? That's the decision. Playing should not feel difficult in the end. So I'm inside. You see, I would not be here. Why? Because the fifth finger, the short finger, is playing inside. And here, when I get there, I get a little bit higher over shape and another over shape. I can't discuss why because it will take too long, but you have great teachers there that can tell you why. It's much less movement than doing an under and an over. And again, so grouping, all of 
those movements plus a grouping is crucial. In the right hand, when you go from the third measure, again, I go to the two, four, but when I go again to the F, I change, the distribution is better that way. To the third, going back to the four, again to the third, I let go a little bit. But with that little bit of staccato, which doesn't even sound like staccato, it's a very small one, there's a double rotation also. This is there as well. If it wasn't, this would be a bigger movement. And I can't move them too much because I'm going right back. Stay inside, this throws me back. And again, there, there is my grouping from here to here, rotation. This is the next grouping. So again, I break here where I have the largest distance. Let go, and then coming out with the over shape, brings the arm right over here, and then going right back in because of the fifth finger on the black key. The moment you have the thumb of the fifth finger on the black key, you have to start moving in. out of time, Therese, huh? Therese? We're pretty close to out of time. Yeah? You want me to continue? Is there another question? Maybe do you want to show some of the really big leaps? Because I know that's where people get scared. You mean in the right hand? Yeah. Okay, so here's another one from uh, measure, go from measure five to measure six. Let's see. There's a little bit of a let go, but, but you see, it's, it's not a let go that you can even tell there's a let go, it's a little bit of a staccato to get me here with the other movement. You see, when you're looking at my hand, all, all of that is inside. So going in is not, and out is not such an issue. And then I break here. Again, here is my groove. a little bit out, going in, by the way here, it's written this way, whenever you can, uncross, instead of doing the thumbs this way, it's such a moment of discomfort, you know, unless immediately makes it easier, same here, they go like that, in each other's way. So, you know, the whole philosophy here is how to make things feel smaller whenever possible. I'm not being in this uncomfortable positions, situations. I'm 